Hey guys, Jordan here from TAC today, and if you've been in search of a computer that's both VR ready, capable of playing games at 4K resolution, and also able to handle heavy multitasking, look no further, because I put together a $2,000 PC that just might be your perfect option. So let's get to it. So for the processor that's going to be powering the show, I've gone with the Intel Core i7 6800K. And this CPU is boasting a base clock speed of 3.4 GHz with a boost clock of 3.6 GHz and 6 physical high quality Intel cores and 12 threads thanks to hyperthreading that'll be able to easily plow right through any heavy productivity tasks like video editing or 3D imaging. So in addition, this chip has 15 megabytes of level 3 cache and is part of the Broadwell CPU family which will deliver both excellent performance and efficient power use. So even though this processor is essentially complete overkill for this build gaming wise, it'll definitely be able to deliver on more intensive tasks that you may perform for about $430. So since our CPU doesn't come with a cooler out of the box, I've gone with the Corsair H100i GTX. And this high performance liquid cooler is featuring a 240mm radiator paired with two of Corsair's quiet SP120L fans to deliver high static pressure, which is ideal for this type of cooler. So in addition is Corsair's own link software for monitoring coolant and CPU temperatures, and you can even change the color of the RGB LEDs on the CPU block to match your build's theme. So for about $110, this liquid cooler should be able to keep our i7-6800K at a reasonable temperature. Now for the motherboard, I've gone with MSI's X99A Raider. And this board is packing Intel's X99 chipset and LGA 2011-3 socket for our CPU, which we'll need since our processor is physically larger than Intel's Skylake series. So on top of that, our 8 SATA 6 gigabit per second ports and 1 SATA Express port, which means you'll have several options for expandability in the future when it comes to drives. You're also going to be seeing two USB 3.1 ports, which can perform data transfer at twice the speed of standard USB 3.0 ports, and support for RAID if you plan on adding another drive and 3-way SLI. So paired with this motherboard's sleek all-black color scheme and $200 price tag, it'll be a nice fit. Now for the RAM, I've gone with 32GB of Corsair Vengeance LPX series. And this memory comes in four 8GB modules, which means you'll be able to run them in quad channel. And since our motherboard has 8 slots for RAM, down the road, you'll still be able to add even more for increased performance. So on top of that, this DDR4 memory is packing a speed of 2133 MHz and a cast latency of 15. And considering this RAM's sleek black color scheme and low profile design, it should be a great option for about $140. So for storage, I've gone with the 1TB Samsung 850 EVO SSD as opposed to a conventional hard drive and solid state drive since all your extra files will now be in one place and quick to access. So under the hood, you're going to be seeing a super fast read speed of 540 megabytes a second with a write speed of 520 megabytes a second, which will definitely make this PC super snappy to use. On top of that, this drive is featuring Samsung's exclusive vertical NAND or VNAND technology that stacks cell layers to increase density, performance, and efficiency. So with this SSD's great reliability, 5-year warranty, and excellent 4.8 star Amazon reviews, you can't go wrong for about $310. Now for the graphics card you've all been waiting for, I've gone with EVGA's GeForce GTX 1080 Superclock Gaming Edition. And this beast of a card is packing a core clock of 1.71 GHz, 8 GB of GDDR5X memory, and 2560 CUDA cores, which will help in delivering one of the best gaming experiences on the market right now. So in addition, is EVGA's own ACX 3.0 cooling technology, which will be able to keep your graphics card nice and cool, yet quiet at the same time. So for I.O., you're going to be seeing one DVI, three display ports, and one HDMI to power all your monitors. And as far as benchmarks go, the 1080 beats out the GTX 980 Ti in nearly every category, which is great to see. So considering this card is VR ready, has a great design, and sleek backplate, it should be a great choice for about $650. So as far as the case goes, I've chosen the fractal design to find S. And this sleek, spacious housing has room for two 2.5-inch drives and three 3.5-inch drives, which is plenty for this build, but there's lots of room for expandability if you'd ever like to add another drive down the road. So on top of that, there are also two included 140mm fans to keep your system cool, and a great cable management system with included cable grommets to make that dreaded task just a tad easier. And lastly is an awesome side panel window so you can show off all your components to your friends. So paired with this case's excellent build quality and high-end appearance, it's a no-brainer for about $80. Now for the last component, the power supply, I've selected EVGA's Supernova NEX 750. 
And this 750 watt supply is more than adequate for this build since our graphics card only requires a minimum of a 500 watt PSU. So this unit is also 80 plus gold certified, which means that your computer will run incredibly efficiently and it's fully modular, which means you only have to plug in the cables you'll need and nothing else, so you can keep your build nice and organized with little clutter. So paired with this power supply's great 10 year manufacturer warranty and over 2000 positive Amazon reviews, it's a great choice for about $90. So that pretty much sums up this month's more enthusiast level PC build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and feel free to drop me a comment below on your thoughts on this $2,000 computer and if you would build one. And as always, I'll have the PC Part Picker list linked down below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video!